Hello friends, it's Reza from channel Reza Blade. Thank you for joining me today. And I have um, the latest collection from Graceful Polish to show you. And I was lucky enough to be sent these polishes to swatch and review. I did some nail art that is topical to the collection also, as usual. Um, and this collection is from Ant Inspired by Animal Crossing. It's the Nooks Island collection. I believe that is uh, New Horizons, the, the I think most recent Animal Crossing um, uh, release. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, I, I haven't played Animal Crossing, but I have lots of friends who do. And so I have consulted them with any questions that I had. I tried to invoke the character with uh, with the nail art and Teresa from Graceful Nail Polish certainly invo invoked the spirit of everything that she's um, invoked. The <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with one of my thumbnails. Um, she perfectly captures the spirit of these um, characters in her nail polish. So. Um, I also have some swatches to show you that reflect which polishes I think look ex exceptionally good when matte. And I am very much looking forward to sharing those with you. So I'm just going to move right along and get into the uh, business of showing you these swatches. Sorry that intro was so long. Problem solved. <laughs> I'm back. Um, do like this video if you enjoy it. Please comment. Um, let me know how you like these uh, beautiful nail polishes. And do subscribe to my channel. My Manny by Me uh, from Maniology video is coming out either today or tomorrow is my hope. And I've got a bunch of <laughs> a bunch more swatches coming up. Uh, we've got some uh, June polish pickup. Uh, entries uh and um this is actually graceful's june polish pickup um i have the actual post on my insta well i will have the actual post in my instagram um and uh do check there the the uh, instagram link is in the bio so first things first i'm going to go over each polish for you um this is blathering on you can see all that gorgeous uh, flaky goodness in there. That This is a dark brown jelly with ultra chrome chameleon flakes in gold and green. Um, I did two, you can do this in two coats, um, and one of my swatches is two coats. The other one is um, three because I wanted a really, really deep color. So let me show you how this goes on. And that kind of reddish undertone totally disappears with three coats. You do get it with uh, with the two. There we go. All right. And so here are my swatches. This is the two coater. And I didn't see any visible nail line. Uh, when I tried that out on my natural nails, but your mileage may vary. This is three coats, and it's like a gorgeous freaking deep, deep brown. Really amazing. Looks great mattified. This is the mattified swatch. Um, the When you mattify a flaky polish, the, the, the flakes just star stare out at you like stars in the sky. So it's just beautiful. And then you can actually see my little Blathers the Owl inspired nail art here. Like I said, all these swatch pictures, better pictures than these are, um, or what you'll see in this video, are on my Instagram. Um, and the link to go shopping, it will be in the description below as well. So here's our friendly neighborhood Blathers. And we've got all the things that in the game you collect from him. We've got fossils, we've got bugs, a little scorpion that um, may fight with you in the game, which is kind of fun. A butterfly, etc., etc. And uh, next, I think that's all we've we've covered that one. 
Um, although I will go ahead and put a second coat on here so you can see how that evens up. Although I did that off screen and I apologize. So let's see, here's how that looks, two coats. So you see it is, it is really a two coater, but I, I go for three with that deep, deep goodness. All right, so I'm trying to open these with my left hand because my right arm is very injured. I pulled the whole muscle, whatever it is, a couple months ago, and then I re-injured it more badly, not realizing what I had done. And these, um, these are pretty narrow uh, brushes, but they do the job. This is nearly a one-coater. This one is called Red Lynx. It is inspired by Bob the Cat. I love these like foil-like, although this effect is done with flakes, is my understanding. Um, and it's got some silver metallic flakes in there with the purple. And I really love this one. Um, I did one, uh, one swatch, since it's not like a flaky or crazy. Um, it, anyway, I didn't try it modified is my, is my point. That is my point. All right, so this, like I said, I did two coats to get you a super saturated swatch, which tends to be my practice, but it, you can probably get away with one coat if you like. If you like. And then let me show you Bob the Cat. Uh, Randy, I think, is the one that has glasses, but this is what I found in my, my stamping plate stash for a fun, funky-looking cat. And then I tried to give him Bob's coloring with a, a deeper fuchsia, well, hopefully I did it, and hit this part is his uh, his Hawaiian shirt, which is a lot of fun. Um, and let's see, did I already take that off? I did. I took it off, so this way I know where I am going, and I know where I have been. Best way to go forward. So turn it up is a white crelly with uh, these. These are green. Uh, this is green micro glitter, but you know what? You get this little gold sheen to it. it it's just amazing, like a green gold, sort of a, an effect. Um, I have seen that there are a couple swatchers that did three coats with this one. I did not need that. And I should probably show you the nails I have on, but I guess I'm going to wait for there. This is on a white white on white so I clearly didn't think this one through did I sorry friends all right and I'm still getting over that weird intro I'm not going to go back and refilm it because you guys know very well that I am all about the realness but uh that was a little embarrassing oh I didn't show you my little turnip this be my little turnips a um, Animal Crossing, there's a small Animal Crossing plate from uh, Lantern and Wren. Uh, it doesn't have everything, but it, it does have these great turnips. Um, although this one shows up a little better because I extended the, the green stamp a bit. And then I did some kind of sheer looking green. I mixed green with the clear top coat to kind of give this a, a sort of a standing out from the other white effect. Since, again, white on white, not always a good choice, Reza. Anyway, so those are that. Those are that. That's them. That's them. Um, I think I did it all. No, I didn't. I have too many steps in this one. I've got a lot of swatches coming up. Be, uh, be looking out for a lot of polishes being shown in my um, videos the next couple days. In my Manny By Me video, I'll probably show you the polish pickup from uh, Nevermind Polish, which is beautiful. There's a rainbow theme this, this month. And that, is, in fact, I should probably tell you that uh, Dream in the Sky is the uh, um, name of this multi-chrome that uh, Graceful has uh, designed for the polish pickup for June. All right, let's get into Meringue Patty. I, I thought that was Meringue Party. But this is a rhino with, like, um, strawberry meringue on her nose. Like, that's her horn, which I thought was really cute. I uh, That was new to me. She's one of the villagers you get, I think. This is pretty, pretty decently a one-coater. 
I did too because I really wanted you to see all those uh, flakies in there. Whoops, my darn nail keeps... I, I chose too small for this size. So I'm going to try not to use that thumb so I can keep just going through this. I'm already eight minutes, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so I did two coats on the swatches and I did mattify it because there are some really fun flakes in there. You can probably see that. And let's go over that nail art. And so, so here's my favorite thing. So this is a, this is the thermal and it goes from pink to like a strawberry red. And my favorite thing about this is I have Raynaud's phenomenon. I might be pronouncing that wrong where my, uh, my hands tend to be cold, like actual temperature cold. Um, but so this is one of the first, uh, well, maybe the first, to, um, thermal polishes that has worked on me without like, you know, me trying to play with the temperature or anything. This, you can clearly see that I'm getting a good thermal line on this. So I am so excited. This polish is really responsive and I think you're going to enjoy it. So, oh yeah, my ring's on my hand. So here's, I did my little strawberry meringue look. I hope you like it. It looks nummy to me. Um, all right, let's take these away and I want to show you. So here is a swatch of that. That's just the strawberry red. You can see how it looks on my fingers. And then here is the gorgeous mattified version of it. You see that? That is just beautiful with those little flakes in there. Anyway, so I say, let us try something fun. Here is Pave. It is a multi-chrome, as you can see. We've got, um, let's see, it's a purple to green to dark blue super shifty Aurora with crystal color changing flakes. I do two coats for this one. Here is my nail art as well as the mattified swatch. You can see how gorgeous this looks as a matte polish. And here is Festival. Um, you, you were, I actually totally designed this after an actual game activity. So it's got the rainbow feather that you craft and it's got a couple of the other uh, solid color feathers that you create. And uh, Pave the Peacock is fabulous. And I um, hope I evoked him. So let's go ahead and get you a peek at how this swatches. And then we will move right along. I haven't worn these long nails in a really long time. I've been busy. Um, some of you have known me for a very long time and you are aware that I'm in a kind of a struggle. Um, been applying for a disability the last four years. So they took a lot of my time the past week and I have, am happy to announce that um, I will be officially declared legally disabled, which has nothing to do with anything um, for, of the body, <laughs> but it helps. It helps. So anyway, I wanted to show you, I did show you all those things. Anyway, so you haven't seen a video from me for a couple weeks and I apologize. That's, that was my explanation of that. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's just one. Two coats is really my, my, uh, recommendation on that one though. Okay. So this polish has a glow to it. It's a green blue, a soft color. This is called a Mira. It's named after Teresa's own island in the game. So let me show you this. can see that iridescence there. See my under under nails there longer than normal. All right. Normally they're like to the quick because I have problems with nails. Anyway, so uh, I don't have to pick this up because I already showed you that. All right. Let me put this aside. Oh, I do. <laughs> I'm going crazy, guys. All right. So this is... Um, I did kind of an island map 
uh, Manny for that one since uh, I, I didn't see any stamps that would really help me with the whole uh, block island kind of that you build in Nooks Isle or New Horizons. And that is the two coats and that's how the swatch goes and my nail is still falling off because I refuse to stop again to put the stupid sucker back on. All right. Let's keep going. We're nearly there. I promise that if you if you just bear with me, I'm trying to be quicker. Izzy, this guy is almost a one coater as well. Or you might be able to get away with it. I probably could on my tiny little um, damaged nails. You can see this beautiful iridescence here. Um, kind of a uh, bronze metallic flakies is what these are. Um, it's a deep, dusty pink coral crelly. I hope you guys can see that very well. All right, so here is that two coats, how that goes. Love it. Love it. I got to sh stop showing you guys my thumbnail. All right, so also next discuss let's discuss ring my bell this one is a gorgeous um, per blue purple pink orange multi-chrome we've got crystal color changing flakes in there uh, possible one coder I did too because I really wanted to show you that saturation when it picks up but I really enjoyed working with this polish one of the best in the collection, in my opinion. But nobody nobody uh, should miss Pave um, at all. I mean, I love all of these. But these flakies are crazy gorgeous. And uh, turn it up, I have an addiction to white polishes that, that have been zhuzhed up a little bit. So, here is Izzy. Let's demand a focus. I demand you to focus. All right. So, I'm going to... As I finish here, I'm going to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe, please. Even though I haven't done an amazing job on this video, I hope I've enthralled you with this gorgeous collection, which is what it is. And this is how that turns out when it's matte. It's really hard for me to stop doing things with my right arm, even though it hurts every time I do. Um, I did do that on the actual swatch little thing for you. I want to show you the nail art. I can't believe I did these uh, stitches freehand. You all probably know I have an intermittent tremor. Um, I uh, I don't know. I, I did my inner seamstress and this this uh, knit needle um, in the ruffle and all this. This is actually Mabel's uh, apron. That's why I did those. And uh, But I just am so excited. Uh, I stamped the flower, but all that other stitching is freehand. I know that's a silly thing to brag about, but normally freehand is just not in my, not in my wheelhouse. I just can't, I can't make that happen. This is Pave. Um, I showed you everything about that. I just want to get these out of the way because you saw me wearing those. Gosh, this is just such an amazing multi-chrome. This is just, Teresa makes the most beautiful polishes. They're just so amazing. Um, you see that, how that multi-chrome here, Ring My Bell is, uh, gosh, it's just, every polish is listed with its description in the description box and the link so that you can grab them. Do grab them before they go away. I'm sure these will sell out quickly. At least that's my expectation. These are just so cool. I didn't show you the Izzy nail art. Um, I, I couldn't find a, uh, any kind of dog stamps that look anything like her. So these are some of the flowers from her desk um, and the pattern on her shirt. So um, I hope you enjoyed these. I have a bunch of videos coming up. Um, maybe I'll get a little bit back in practice and I'll roll a little bit more smoothly, hopefully, uh, with those. And um, 
I'm so excited again because I have some good news from the state this week, and um, I hope all of you have a great holiday weekend. I'm releasing this on Memorial Day weekend, although you're probably viewing this not on Memorial Day weekend. Anyway, keep following your bliss. Do what makes you happy. Polish that makes you <laughs> polish, make nail art that makes you happy, and I will see all of you very, very soon. Ta-ta.